Hello, welcome to today's video on uh, PID pipeline tag customization in AutoCAD Plan 3D. My name is Emmanuel Maenda, I'm a technical sales specialist. This video is going to, going to be very brief, uh, taking you how to create custom uh, properties and basically creating those pipeline group tags in your Plan 3D uh, PID drawing. So ideally, if you're using Plan 3D for the first time and um, you and I'm very sure you must have come across this dialogue that appears here when you want to assign a tag. This is your usual uh, pipeline segment, the default, uh, which is the default one. But you'd find that maybe there's a maybe an instance where you have a project a project that requires you to do a lot more customization add a lot more attributes uh, with us with a set of uh, you know selection lists down below as you can see on the right hand side of the screen so this video is just covering how to go about it let's jump into the into the product and let us see how that goes so it actually starts by going to your project setup. So right click on your sample project, could be any project that you're working on. So I chose to use the sample project, so go to project setup. And then now my P and I D D W G settings, uh, it should be going on to the engineering items and the lines, pipeline segments. So you can see here, that you have your type of uh you know your type of uh, type of tag that you want to add uh on this list you can also add your own custom customized prop you know your own custom properties for example if i want to add something like say the plant area number sequence number or something like that or any other type of property that you want to choose from you can you can you can do that very quickly so on the properties here just click on add so making sure that uh, so i'm gonna add something like plant area number and this could be a string or it could be a numeric boolean function true or false selection list if it has a drop down of a couple of items that you probably need to choose from an acquired property or a calculated property so i'm gonna leave it as that i can also add something like uh, maybe sequence number something like this then maybe have it as a numeric for this example so they all appear they all appear on this on this um on this table and you can also look at some of these existing ones just to make sure that that's just to you know you don't want to reinvent the wheel basically uh you can look at other items here such as service uh if i look from the list here i will look for service uh, insulation type um, status model number i need to look for service uh it's 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 basically uh, not here uh, but it's actually on this on this uh, case so uh they actually show up show up on the sizes the spec and you see quite of those quite a number of these uh, custom uh, custom properties that have been um, been uh, generated from here so i can i think i can also add a custom so because I don't see service, so let me see if I can add service. And it's a selection list. Let's see if it's yes. So it's it's already picked it up. So selection list property. You can add some of those uh, services. So you can see here. I'm gonna go ahead and click OK so you can see service. Okay. So when you look at this this one here sometimes you'll notice that it might not appear there but it's always important to also look at how i've been able to do it but you can use some of these default however in most cases in a in a project you find that um your 
you're having a project, a specific project, if it's a pharmaceutical project or it's a water or a wastewater or it's a, you know, a desalination water project, water uh, treatment plant that has different sub pipeline services and each of them have a value and a description that looks like this. So I'm just saying that you can add or remove some of those ones, some of so, some of those ones here. So just for argument's sake, I can maybe add another one. Uh, if you look at sulfuric acid, you can see steam condensate is quite a number here. Uh, let me see if I have something, you can add something here, like say demineralized water. So that is WDS. I'm gonna add row here, add DW, uh, WDS. Uh, then last water. Okay, so once I done that, it 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 shows up here. You can also remove the ones that you don't that you don't need. Um, at the moment, with AutoCAD, without with Plan Three D, uh, this this process is is manual. So I'm gonna just go ahead and uh, maybe delete. If you want to delete it, you can add or remove the way, however you want. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit OK. And then under pipeline tag, knowing that I need to now define a new tag format on this one here. So I'm just going ahead and just select uh, a new one and I'm going to call it a PID custom tag. PID custom tag. And I'm sure that if you are following in this example, you might be having something that you that you use in your in your company. Um, and just for this for this for this example, I'm going to leave it as 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 it is here. So, for example, uh, size uh, size I can now change this one to service. So from the list here, I can look for service. I can also look for something else here, which is the plant area number. It doesn't show up here, but you can look for your inline assets and engineering items, lines, pipeline segments, because you actually defined it under that PID class. Pipeline segments, I can say this, I want to have a my plant area number. Let's go ahead and do that. And I'm also going to change this one as a sequence number, sequential number. Then my inline assets as well. Lines, pipeline segments. And I'm going to look for sequence number, sequential number. Cool. There we go. I'm going to probably need to add a lot more. Looks like it. Maybe I need about seven more to populate that. I will also go back to the list, look for spec, add spec, I need to also add the insulation type. So it's not here. If I uncheck this, I have access to a lot more PID classes. So it should be under um, pipeline segments, I'll say look for insulation type, yeah inspect insulation type and then I'm also going to add another one which is tracing. So when I look at that, tracing. Cool. And remember to put your delimiters and of course uh, it basically have you basically have a dash that separates the 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 different uh, characters in that tag. So uh, PID custom tag exists so I'm going to call it one. Let's call it, yeah, so I'm going to have it as that. Then go ahead and click apply and click OK. Actually, the reason why this shows, that warning showed up was because there is another tag that I tried to, uh, you know, uh, play around with. So I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. So on the drawing, I'm just going to go maximize going to my inside my drawing and just just to make sure that this actually works so make sure that you use the correct one you have your pip this project is a pip yes so make sure that i show the right line 
and the underlines, I can now go ahead and start maybe just an example here. Now this one one more thing that I haven't yet done and I'm just going to just allow me to go back and do it is I need to change the tag so that this format name now changes to custom tag. That way it will not be able to use the default one. So it is going to use this custom one. So I'm just going to go uh, click apply and click okay. So when I go into my drawing I can select and assign a tag and and you can see you can see how this actually looks like this is actually something that is going to behave like this so i'm going to say zero one and i'm going to look for maybe some like that and then it's uh, you can choose from that list and from the selection list you can see it is uh, electric traced so if you place annotation after assigning tag click apply you will notice that this will look like this so if you move it and you can see the difference between uh, you know what the different ways of coming up with that kind of a tag so if you need if you want to look if you want to customize how these tags look need to look like in your PID project, this is how you do them in AutoCAD Plan 3D. Thanks for now and bye-bye.